हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फूड न्यूट्रिशन एंड डायटेटिक्स चैनल सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर टू ऑफ यूनिट फोर विटामिन्स आर मेनली ग्रुप्ड इन टू कैटेगरीज फैट सॉलिबल एंड वाटर सॉलिबल इन दिस यूनिट वी विल स्टडी अबाउट वाटर सॉलिबल विटामिन विच इंक्लूड्स ऑल द बी विटामिन एंड विटामिन सी द विटामिन आर इजली अब्जॉर्ब इन टू द बॉडी इफ वी कंज्यूम मोर ऑफ वाटर सॉलिबल विटामिन यू नीड द एक्सक्रेस विल भी एक्सक्रीटेड नॉट स्टोर्ड दिस मीन्स दैट द रिस्क ऑफ ओवर डिज इज लो बट यू हैव टू कॉन्स्टेंटली रिफिल योर स्टॉक We will also study about important fat soluble vitamins vitamin D which require bile salts to help absorb them but your body keeps stocks that excess for ready use so it talks about this paragraph talks about that vitamins are not harmful for our body and we will mainly focus in this chapter about vitamin B and vitamin C uh, uh, and it also says that if we uh, consume excess of vitamins it will not affect but it will be uh, not uh, stored uh, it will be excreted so we'll start with vitamin b complex vitamin b complex is composed of eight water soluble vitamins that is first is thymine riboflavin niacin pantothenic acid pyridoxine biotin folic acid cobalamin vitamin b complex play a vital role in maintaining good health and well being as the body building blocks of the healthy body b vitamin have a direct impact on your energy levels brain functions and cell metabolism Vitamin B complex plays a vital role in maintaining good health and well-being as a building block of a healthy body. B vitamin have direct impact on our energy and level, brain function, and cell metabolism. Now we will see the summary of vitamins, functions, deficiency, and its resources. First is thymine, that is also called as vitamin B one. Uh, vitamin B one is also called as thymine. Uh, its functions are uh, normal growth, coenzyme in carbohydrate metabolism, and normal function of heart, nerves, and muscles. deficiency causes very very uh, gastrointestinal loss appetite gastric distress indigestion deficiency hydrochloric acid etc sources uh, uh, vitamin b1 sources are liver whole or enriched groups legumes wheat germs etc so we did not need to uh, know more functions or only two are enough for us next is riboflavin that is vitamin b2 uh, it is required for normal growth and energy of coenzyme in protein and energy malnutrition its deficiency causes aribofloanosis that is wound aggregation and cracks at the corners of the mouth uh, these are the major source of vitamin b2 are milk meat enriched cereals green vegetables next is niacin that is vitamin b3 uh, its function is coenzyme in energy production and normal growth and its deficiency causes pellagra that is deficiency disease weakness loss of appetite diarrhea etc uh, the, the rich sources of vitamin b3 are fortified cereals and grains next is pantothenic acid that is vitamin b5 uh, its functions are formation of coenzyme a fat cholesterol protein and hem pro formation uh, deficiency causes unlikely because of widespread distribution of most food and the rich sources of vitamin b5 are meat egg milk whole grains legumes vegetables etc next is pyridoxine that is vitamin b6 uh, these are uh, its functions are coenzyme in amino acid metabolism protein synthesis hem for, uh, formation brain activity carrier for amino acid absorption uh, its deficiency causes anemia and hyper irritability uh, the rich sources of vitamin b6 are wheat germ legumes meat poultry seafood etc next is biotin that is vitamin b7 its functions are coenzyme a partner synthesis of fatty acids amino acids and purines uh, uh, deficiency causes hair loss and a scaly red rash around the eyes nose and mouth Uh, the rich sources of vitamin B7 are liver, egg yolk, soy flour, nuts, etc. Next is folic acid, that is vitamin B9. Uh, its functions are coenzyme in DNA and RNA synthesis, red blood cells maturation, etc. Its deficiency causes mega megaloblastic anemia, large immune and red blood cells, poor growth, etc. And uh, the rich sources of folic acid, that is vitamin B9, are liver, green leaf, leafy vegetables, legumes, yeast, fortified oranges, juice, etc. next is cyanocobalamin the cobalam uh, that is vitamin b12 and its functions are coenzyme in synthesis of hem for hem globin myelin sheath uh, formation of protect nerves etc it deficiency causes pernicious anemia poor nerve cord these are the rich sources uh, the rich sources of vitamin b12 are liver lean meat fish, fish seafood etc next we will start with vitamin c Vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin. It is synthesized by many mammals. 
but not by humans. The highest vitamin C content is found in green and red peppers, broccoli, citrus fruits, strawberries, melons, tomatoes, raw cabbage, potatoes, and leafy greens such as spinach, turnip, etc. Meat, uh, meat, fish, poultry, eggs, and dietary products contains much lesser amount, and cereals grains contains essentially none. Losses of vitamin C occurs when food are cooked in large amount of water exposed to extensive heating or exposed to air. So this paragraph talks about that vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin and these are mainly found in the fruits and vegetables and meat also. Uh, it is very essential uh, vitamin and if, uh, if the vitamin C containing foods are overcooked that it may lead to the uh, it will not uh, do its function and it will cause exposed to extensive heating exposed to air the amount of water will lose its function. So we should not overcook the vitamin C foods. These are the rich sources of vitamin C. Deficiency of vitamin C causes uh, leads to scurvy with following symptoms. So, so you can observe in the figure given below that how what causes during scurvy uh, that is bleeding gums. These are the major issues caused due to vitamin C deficiency. Bleeding and swelling of gums, joint pains particularly in legs, weakness or fatigue weakness or fatigue and swelling on wounds these are the causes of vitamin c deficiency next is vitamin d vitamin d is necessary for various body functions vitamin d is a uh, vitamin d is a fat soluble vitamin uh, that our body produces when the skin gets exposed to sunlight uh, then uh, the major sources of vitamin d is endogenous synthesis in skin exposure to sunlight namely ultraviolet b radiation of wavelength 290 to 320 nanometer Main dietary sources are fish, fortified uh, foods and supplementary supplements. So vitamin D as we all know that it is uh, produced in our skin only when we are exposed to sunlight and it's very important for our body. Vegetables and grains are poor sources. Synthesis of vitamin A in skin on exposure to UV is also affected by latitude, solar zinc angle atmospheric pollution ozone layer and melanin pigmentation so uh, vitamin d uh, production is also reduced due to the uh, place where the people live atmospheric pollution is also the major cause ozone layer and melanin pigmentation is also the causes of lesser production of vitamin d in our body prevalence the prevalence of vitamin d dietary deficiency is reported worldwide both in sunshine deficient and sunshine sufficient countries Still, it is the most underdiagnosed and undertreated nutrition deficiency in the world. So, vitamin D deficiency is re reported by worldwide. You observe that uh, it is not only in the sunshine deficient countries, but it also found in the uh, sunshine uh, sunshine sufficient countries. Vitamin D rich foods causes vitamin D deficiency is quite extensive in India. Apart from the little intake of diet, people with liver, kidney, and skin disorders also have vitamin D deficiency. Uh, there are many reasons for it uh, being so common in our country. First is indoor uh, increased indoor lifestyle thereby preventing sufficient exposure to sunlight. This is mainly in urban population due to modernization. Second is pollution can slow down the synthesis of vitamin D in the skin by UV rays. Third is changing food habitats and low dietary calcium of vitamin D intake. So it, uh, the causes of vitamin D deficiency is that people are mostly living in the indoor lifestyle is increased and they are not uh, exposed to sunlight uh, to full potential third is phytates uh, and phosphate which are there in the fiber rice diet can lessen vitamin d stores and increase calcium requirements increasing skin pigmentation and uh, application of sunscreens and cultural practice such as burqa and parda system so these all are the causes of vitamin d deficiency consequences the commonly known consequences of vitamin d deficiency is recurrence in children and osteomalacia osteoporosis in adults in children, it is caused by defective mineralization of bone due to the imbalance between calcium and phosphorus in the bone, resulting in the rickety and external skeletal deformity. It also causes muscle weakness and bone pain. In adults, inadequate dietary intake of vitamin D leads to poor absorption of calcium uh, from diet and increased consumption resorption for the, from the bone and kidney and reduced bone mineral density resulting in osteoporosis and osteomalacia, muscle weakness and increased risk falls. So these are the consequences of vitamin D deficiency which consist of uh, osteomalacia or osteoporosis uh, in adults and children are mostly defective bone imbalance due to and uh, between the calcium and phosphorus 
and these causes and uh, they they feel many issues in their later life weakness and bone pain are extra are, are the causes consequences of vitamin d deficiency even though we are attentive or cause of vitamin d uh, deficiency we are not able to prevent it to greater extent india being a tropical country has adequate sunshine most of the indian population live in areas with adequate sunlight throughout the year and expected have adequate vitamin d contrary to this prevalence of vitamin d is high in india though the uh, it says that though the people are living in the uh, sunshine sufficient places to, but after that also due to their increased indoor lifestyles the vitamin d deficiency is high in india this is due to the skin complication poor uh, exposure to sunlight sunscreens indian dietary habits and low intake of vitamin d fortify foods vitamin d and sun exposure it is advised to have a sun exposure between uh, 11 am uh, 11 am to 2 pm uh, for maximum vitamin d production in your body so we should uh, take uh, sun exposure during uh, 11 to 2 pm in, in that time the maximum vitamin d production is done there is a table given we will study uh, now that so the first vitamin given in the table is vitamin c uh, its functions is actually uh, it acts as a act as an antioxidant collagen synthesis helps repair iron and absorption and release issue and red blood uh, formation and metabolism it deficiency causes scurvy as we shown above uh, hemorrhages uh, hemorrhages sore gums etc and its rich sources of vitamin c are citrus fruits kiwi tomatoes melon strawberries dark leafy vegetables etc uh, second is vitamin d that and its uh, function are absorption and uh, absorption of calcium and phosphorus uh, classification of bones and teeth and growth deficiency causes rickets and growth retardation in children osteomalacia in adults and uh, these uh, the rich sources of vitamin d is not there uh, much but we can take uh, sufficient sunlight exposure and uh, eat fortified meat milk fish oil etc from next video we will start from chapter 3 thanks for watching Do subscribe to the channel, join the telegram and share it to your friends. Thanks for watching.